Good morning, guys. It's around 8.55, so I'm about to fix my crazy hair. Um, normally, since I just washed it the other night, I try to keep it down more so it doesn't get, like, all these, like, creases and stuff in it. But when we went to the river yesterday, I threw it up for obvious reasons. It was pretty windy, too, so... Uh, I just didn't want to bother with it. So now it's just going to be up until I wash it again. But that's fine. We've got a lot of stuff to do today. The rest of the time we're here. Till next week. So I am going to go start his breakfast in a minute. And we're going to go to the other house. Alright. So. I know I'm not the only one this has happened to. So have you ever had a dream where your significant other does something to upset you or make you mad? And then when you wake up, you're still mad at them in real life, even though it was a dream? Because that, that's not necessarily the case for last night. But it made me think of that because my dream was just bizarre. So in my dream... My fiancé had broken up with me, don't know what happened, don't know why. So to get back at him, I decided to go out with his brother. Literally would never happen at all in real life, ever. And apparently it worked because he ended up wanting to get back with me. So of course, you know... That was the plan. So, that happened. But in the process, I ended up hurting his brother because his brother ended up really liking me in my dream or something. I don't know. Really weird. And, I I don't know. You know, it, it's not like he cheated on me in my dream or something. If that were the case, like, I'd be pissed right now. And he'd be like, what's your problem? And I'd be like, you did this in my dream. He'd be like... It was a dream. Not real. And I'd be like, you know what you did. Okay? And I'm not crazy because I know I'm not the only one that has, like, ever felt like that from a dream. Um, give me one second. I'm thinking it's supposed to rain today because it's really gloomy out and it's definitely chilly. Um, but I'm hoping my fiancé still goes out to work because I don't need him sitting there rushing me while I'm trying to get stuff done, which I'd rather just hang out at the house anyway because my aunt said not to feel bad, you know, for, like, leaving if I just want to take Alden to the park or to do stuff over there because she, like I said the other day, she said she can get, she says she works better by herself going through stuff. And I've, I felt that because I'm kind of the same way. Like in high school, when there'd be like group projects, I always hated that because, you know, when, she, when you get into a group, like even people you don't normally talk to, like once you guys kind of start talking, you know, it kind of is a distraction from like the actual work. So I just always felt like I worked better alone, hated doing stuff in a group. Except if, like, the project ended up being bad, then you could always just blame the other person. You know. Oh, here's a prime example, though. See how I'm a little bloody right here? That one little spot, I have, like, three tiny spots right here. But the one spot gets really, really itchy. And I just scratched it until it bled. Which is not fun, but I can't help it, you guys. They had this really good stuff on Amazon that I used for... A long time and my mom can't find that stuff on Amazon anymore they have like this different stuff that I she thinks kind of replaced the stuff I was using it was called Eugenergy in a little gold tube literally a, it's a miracle cream um, because I would put it this is just a tiny bit of my psoriasis on my stomach but I would put it on all these spots and within several days, it was disappearing. No joke. I have a video showing all of my spots. It's like a, a video from last year, I think, a, a psoriasis update, where I would put it on every single day, 
that stuff and just show you guys how fast my psoriasis clears up. Um, I'm going to try looking. Hey, there's me. I'm going to try looking elsewhere, though, to see if I can find the original stuff. It's like a Chinese herbal cream. I don't care. Whatever is in it does wonders. And I want it especially for, like, my forehead and stuff and right here because it'll just it'll make it go away. The stuff she got, I haven't given long enough of a chance to see if it works like Eugene or Jane, but I need to. So if I took it to the house, I'll have to look for that today. But nothing has ever worked the way that stuff in the gold tube worked. So I really want to get more of that. These curtains of my mom's were probably going to hang in Alden's room once when we take them, which I'm not going to take them yet because obviously, like, there's only sheer little curtain things behind it, so people could see into the house without them. So I'm obviously waiting till we get out of here. I'm going to take her curtains. They're blackout curtains, which is nice for people like me who hate the mornings and the sunlight. Um, and then I need to remember to take these towels, which I'm just going to take them off of here now because I never reach for these towels. Only when like those towels are getting washed. I will obviously dry my hands right here, but I try to like get laundry done quick and that way I always have those. So, and then the only other things I'll have to grab, my razor, I took everything else from over here, bubble bath. I'll probably take that old Cardinals cup because we I use it to rinse Alden off. And then just that stuff and towel there, bath mat. I'll probably, I guess I'll take the little trash can that was in here, because it was my mom's. Pretty much cleaned everything out from under there, except the TP. So, alright, I'm gonna go see if he's done eating his ice cream now, so we can go to the other house. Um, if my fiance sticks around and doesn't work, I probably won't vlog, which I plan to do, but, um... I should just be like, if, even if you don't work, just like, go go somewhere, go do something, <laughs> leave me alone. Um, I mean, I'll still try and vlog, but I might not talk as much or be as loud. I should just not care at this point. Um, for all I know, he could be, you know, watching every video I post, like, at night when he goes home, away from me, without me knowing. Like, you know what I mean? He could easily be watching the videos I post, so, be watching. Hey. But I doubt it. I doubt he watches my videos. I hope he doesn't because I just, I feel so dumb. Like, I don't know why. I mean, I'm, I am this way when I'm with him. It's just like, I feel embarrassed talking to my phone or to a camera if somebody's watching. I don't even care who it is. Like, Alden, I could talk in front of because he, but it's funny because when we're around my fiance, he'll be like, are you going to do a video? And I'm like, no, shut up. And he's like, hey guys. Aren't you like, didn't you say that? Yeah. So he kind of exposes me in front of him, and I'm like, shut up. Which, my fiance knows I do videos. It's not, and I'll even be like, I gotta do a video tonight. But like, so it's not that. I just, I don't know. I'm so weird about it. And everybody else on YouTube, they just, they vlog with their spouse. And me, I'm just like, nope. And I got a comment yesterday, and I was like, has your fiance been any, in any of your videos before? And I was like, nope, and I don't want him to be. And she said, that made me laugh out loud, but I'm like, so serious, I don't want him to be. Um, like, I love him with my whole heart, but no to the video thing. Now, I thought it, I always thought it'd be cool to do one of those, like, videos, like a, the boyfriend tag, or like, fiance, husband tag, whatever, where you, and, like, he'll answer questions about me. And I'll answer questions about him or something. But I just don't think I can get past the weirdness of talking to this with him next to me. You're done? Yeah. He's done, folks. All right. I, I said that really weird, folks. Oh, I think he's calling me. So I'm going to go talk to you guys soon. It's really chilly outside. You can tell how, like, gloomy it is. It was already sprinkling a little bit. But I'm hoping, as much as I love rainy days, and we haven't really had one in a while, I'm hoping maybe the sun comes out so my fiance can skedaddle and go to work. He is coming to get us to go over there. And he's like, I'm going to rush you. And I'm like, I swear to God, if you even attempt to rush me, even messing around with me, I'm going to punch you in the eye. No, no. I, I wouldn't punch him in the eye. 
Maybe his arm. <laughs> but. How he could, how you could put a, a big die on when he got way big muscle and die you. I can just hit his muscle. Like, boom. I won't I'm just it. joking. I'm not going to hit him. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Goofy. I'm just saying, like, if Dad, Dad tries to rush me, I'm going to be upset because I planned on having, like, the whole day to do whatever I need to do. Oh, my God. I thought I was past the itching eyes thing. I mean, I know I wasn't past it, but, like, it hasn't been as my bad what, lately. My what I'm a fuck. Yep. So, we are about to go, and yeah. I'm excited. He's not here. No, he's not. Because I can see into the driveway from here. Told you. He's always doing that. I'm kidding. Just kidding. Tricked ya. Got ya. I don't know where he gets this from. But he's turning into like a little prankster. It's kind of annoying. Because he's only five. And he'll be like, mm, gotcha. Mm -hmm. You're so funny. Oh, I feel bad because we haven't been able to, well, we haven't been going in the backyard lately. Like <clears throat> the other morning we did, but it's just been harder to take him outside and do stuff when there's so much going on. But we're going to go. Hopefully he has fun over there. And uh, yeah. Trying to hear what he's doing. Anyway. Yeah, it's cold out there. But I'm gonna go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like zoning out and I'm thinking I should well, I could take more stuff with me. I just, I don't know, I don't feel like hauling stuff upstairs right now. We can, we can take it later. That's how I feel. Oh, Alright, well hopefully I'll talk to you guys over there. Again, we'll see. He'll probably bug the crap out of me the whole time if he stays. So I won't be able to. But, you know, again, I'm kind of hoping in the sun I'll be like, oh, hey, guys. And um, then he can leave and leave me alone. But hopefully I'll talk to you guys over there real soon. Judge me all you want. But I've got my Christmas playlist on just to make me feel a little jolly while we're cleaning. I got his shelf. I was like, what do I call this thing? I didn't wipe it down yet, it was pretty dusty from the basement over there, but it's in his closet now. Um, so it's like out of the way. See, originally I was going to put books like up here, but you can't see them up because this is too tiny. And I'm guessing this is like an entertainment center, and this would be where TV goes. And this is just, you know, if there was a shelf, it'd be better for books. But this, he can just keep toys on. So that'll be dedicated to books. I'm so excited. I honestly wish I could use it for my books. But I need, like, an entire bedroom for my books. I have so many. But, and then we have space up book? here. Those Is are your, book? these are your books. But we're not going to do that right now. Okay. So right now, we're just going through toy boxes. But and not, going through. Yes, yeah, so put it in that box. We're going to throw away anything he's not going to use or play with. Donate, throw away, whatever. Um, and that's all we're doing right now. And my fiancé ran to the bedroom store <laughs> Because we're looking for a new bed frame. He what has asshole. a bed frame, but it's either by a box spring or there's this really cool smart base bed asshole. frame that doesn't need a box spring or anything. Oh we're looking for one of those. I saw it on Amazon, which I said, let's just order it and it'll come in two days. But he's like, oh, just go look in store. I'm like, it's only this much on Amazon with two day free shipping, but whatever. You ain't gonna listen to me. So... We're doing that right now. I will check in in a little while. I got through all of these boxes of toys and I have it down to these three 
And then that tub is specifically like Hot Wheels or cars or whatever. This stuff is just stuff that can go downstairs. And all the Legos I found, I put in here. Bouncy balls are at the bottom and then Nerf darts. Empty can that we can use for something. This can go downstairs. And I just got to get this random stuff that was in this box out of here. These are cute little bottles, but I don't know if I, I guess I should keep them. I can repurpose them. All right, we're taking a break. I got through all of his toy boxes. I'll go through some stuff for our room in a little bit. We're going to put a movie on and just kind of sit and relax for a little bit. So in here, so far I have all, well, not all of, but a lot of my wallets over here. Nothing over here yet. This will be like, I'll keep my planner in here, stuff like that. Um, a book I want to read, and a little snacky snacks, and the remote for my fan. And this is a bunch of random stuff. This will have like medicines and random stuff I got from my mom's medicine cabinet. Um, this is behind all of this. It's like all of my face masks and stuff and extra deodorant. That was my mom's. My detangler, makeup wipes. This came from my mom's cabinet as well. Skincare. Mm, that'll be where my my hair tools go. Phone cases, pads, uh, random stuff. That's a little bit of makeup. My little picture printer, some wipes, gum. Oh, this is that stuff I was talking about that like replaced. The Yuji Energy. So this is, I guess, I don't know if it's supposed to be like it, but I need to test this out to see if it'll make my psoriasis go away. Nail stuff. And I think that's it, aside from down here, where it's just like kind of more random stuff. Why won't it focus? Pens, washi tape, the cutting pad from Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness. My mirror right there. This I took from my mom's bathroom. I just put these on there because they were in this little container. But I decided to put just some random stuff in here. There's bobby pins, a couple of my rings, tacks, earrings. Just so they're not like all over the drawer. And uh, oh my gosh, I love everything about this bed. The bed, the bedspread. I can't even uh, describe how soft uh, it is. You could get a bed with me. Why are you blurry? Hold on, stand still. There we go. What, you want to lay down? Yeah, but you. Oh. Well, go ahead and get up there. And I put this photo of my grandparents that passed what's away. She, just because I love this photo oh, and it's she? already framed and everything. What's she? What's she? That's my mama duck and that was Grandpa Doggett. But what are you? I don't think I was born yet. This oh. must this was probably it looks like they were a lot younger here, so oh. unless if I was born I was a what baby. But I think this this was before I was born. Okay. And then up here I just have my aromatherapy sleep lotion, my confetti cake pop, two sprays, into the night lotion. I found my tacky glue. I just had Alden put it up here. Some room spray, PlayStation 4 controller, because me and my fiance and Alden actually like to play Call of Duty on our phones. 
So he, I actually, we got two controllers. I got the pink one. My fiance got the red. I actually don't like using a controller with my phone. I like using my fingers. You would think the controller would make you better, but I'm better with my, because I'm used to playing with my fingers now. I'm not used to playing with a controller because we haven't been able to play Call of Duty on our PlayStation 3 in a very long time. We don't have a 4. These are PS4 controllers, but we have a PlayStation 3. Oh, and I took that photo from my grandma's house. She didn't want it, and I just think I like the sunflowers. I think it's pretty. I might try and hang it. Well, there is still a nail right here. I might try and hang it there. We should, yeah, we'll see it above the TV. It's high enough. So that little TV at my mom's, I plan to put here. Get another DVD player for in here. And yeah. I feel like my eyes are so red because I've been scratching them or rubbing them. I mean, so much today. Just in like the last few hours. They've been really bad. So I took another Benadryl just to try and help. And I think it <coughs> it helped for a little while. And we went to the park for a little bit to get out of the house. My hair's looking a mess right now. I need a headband. I've got some, but I just don't feel like wearing it. But yeah, my fiance ran to Walmart. Well, I don't think well, and I told him to look for DVD players just to see if they had any cheap ones there. And if they didn't have any under, like, a certain amount, I'll just look on Amazon. That way, once we bring the TV over, we'll be able to watch our movies in here. Whew, it is now 9.40. We are back at my, I always say my mom's house, my grandma's house. Um, everybody left. My aunt had texted me that she was home a little while ago, and then we were still at the house. And, um, she texted me that she left me a really cute jacket to look at, um, on the hamper that I asked her about, because I didn't know if my grandma wanted it, and she also said that my grandma doesn't want the hamper. I could have it. Um, I think I showed it to you guys, but I'll show you that. And I'll show you guys the jacket when we go downstairs. But after Alden finishes his dinner... I'm going to give him a bath and get him to sleep, hopefully. Two oh, he wants to show you his two airplanes. I got one more. Uh, so he has this cool jet. And then this one that I think is from the Airplanes movie that's like cars, but they made an airplane. And I got one more at Grandma's house. And, and he has one more at his other grandma's house, and he's going to get it tomorrow. We're going to... Go back over to the house in the morning, and then we'll go to the park. We'll stop by Grandma's house and get his airplane, yep. and then go to the dollar store. I'm so excited. I want to get paint. Well, as long as they have paint. But I want to get some paint for the Popsicle Stick DIY, because I think as long as I have, like, newspaper and stuff to keep everything clean, I think that'd be something fun for me and Alden to do when we go over to the house. Or, I mean, e even here, it doesn't matter, but... Um, I want to start crafting, like I keep telling you guys, I really want to craft, so, and I just wrote my mom, because my eyes, you guys probably can't tell, they're probably not even as red, I feel like they were much more red earlier when I was talking to you guys, but my fiance is like, you have pink eye, I've never had pink eye in my life, I don't, I don't think it's pink eye, I'm, I'm positive that it's the dust in this house, because for over a week, my eyes have been itching as you guys know like my eyes have been itching my nose has been messed up my I'm constantly sneezing it's all tied together from allergies um but I wrote my mom that if she was awake because it's an hour ahead in Michigan so it's 9 43 here it's 10 43 there so if she's awake to call me because I already took everything from her medicine cabinet over to our house and she had pink eye drops in regular eye drops, but I want to ask her which ones don't burn. I don't like putting things in my eyes, even just eye drops. I don't like it. I'm always moving. Like, you have to kind of, like, you know, in the episode where Rachel and Friends has to take eye drops and she doesn't want to, they, like, literally have to hold her down and do it. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do with me. Wow, you ate all of it? Or do you want more? 
You do? Well, I have to go get him some more noodles. So, on that note, um, I, I'm trying to ask her which ones don't burn because as long as one of the two of them don't burn, I don't think I have pink eyes, so I don't need the pink eye drops. But if the other eye drops don't burn, I will try them tomorrow because I really am so sick of the itching. And I don't want to have to take Benadryl all day long. I like, I take one in the morning with a Sudafed. And, um, and then I take it at night to help me sleep. So I don't want to take it like, you know, too much all day. Um, but I'm going to get him some more noodles, get him in the bath. And then to bed, I hope. But I should be talking to you guys again afterwards. Isn't this so freaking cute? It's just a cute little brown faux leather jacket with this little like fur trim. And it's from the coffee shop New York. It's a medium, which I'm very glad. It has this cute like buckle detailing. And these pockets. I don't think I can open it with just one hand. Um, I freaking love it. I'm assuming she probably picked it up at TJ Maxx. But this is the brand. So cute. Typically I go for black. But I love the brown because it's different. And I could wear my cute little, um, little fake Uggs with it. Um, it's just perfect for fall, so I'm so glad she left this for me to look at. I'm so excited to wear it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just end this vlog here. I'm going to try and get him to sleep. Shouldn't be hard. We woke up pretty early. He didn't nap. so And then we did go to the park earlier, and I think that wore him out. So I'm thinking he should fall asleep, but with my luck... And I just figured I'd go ahead and just take some Benadryl. My eyes are itching anyway. And just get ready for tomorrow because we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. My fiancé is working. We're going to go to the house while he works. Um, go to the park. Run by Alden's other grandma's house to get his airplane. Hit up the dollar store. Um, to get him a couple Thai mystery boxes. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I try and grab at least a couple for him because, I mean, they're only a buck and they are cute and we're trying to collect as many of them as we can. Why not? Like all the different ones. So I'm just going to go for now, but I will be back in the morning. My arm's getting tired. I'm getting, I am tired though. Like not really enough to fall asleep, but I'm, I feel pooped. So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good night.